Greetings, Glitter Gang. I hope you're having a magical day. My name's Catherine, and you're watching Catherine Scraps. And today I have an album share with you of my Split Decision album, which has a new binding system and is a 10 by 10 album. I've used the Paper Phenomenon Photobomb and Journaling Basics collections to decorate it. So you'll see those papers as we go through. Um, but it is a 10 by 10 album. It's pretty thick. Um, it's got a big spine and it has a soft craft tech spine that wraps around the front. Uh, these brads are decorative. The spine would stay on without them, but I like the way that they make it look kind of like riveted leather. And then I've just used the paper on the back. So it's got a pretty plain cover, but I tend to prefer those. So on here, I've listed how many photos that this album holds. Uh, it holds 14 five by seven photos, 102 four by six photos and 46 uh, four by four photos for a total of 162 photos. And I did weigh it and it weighs five and a half pounds. So it is a huge album. I don't intend uh, for you to make yours this big and this stuff necessarily uh, when I do these album basics guides, but I like to show you all the options. And then the idea with the album basics guides is that you will pick which options you need for yourself. So this album in the binding combines half pages and full pages. So the split decision binding enables you to have two different size pages in one binding. So that's its unique feature. And um, there will be a link in this video description to the album basics guide for the split decision album so that you can make one of these yourself if you want to. Album basics guides are blueprints for designing albums. So they will show you step by step how to make each of the seven page styles included in this book and step by step how to make the binding and then you choose which pages, which pockets you want to include in your book and you design it yourself and it has tips for how to design it. So that's the split decision album basics guide. So this is mini page style A and it folds out. All right. So that's um, one chain that's one option it could also be a pocket this so you can do it either way and all the videos where i decorated this will also be included with the guide so if you want to make this one exactly you absolutely can that's an option for you as well so this has layered pockets where i've included different shaped photo spots journaling spots polaroids and then you can see here you've got the stacked pockets with the uh, the photo bomb. <laughs> Lots of little goodies in here. Could do mini photos, little dirt places to journal. You don't take a photograph, you make it and then smile. And then you can flip it over and there's room inside for enlargements. There's room inside for enlargements. So, um, and again, like I said, this can be a pocket or it can just be flat. You know, you can do either or it doesn't matter. And then here is full size page style a, the camera is an excuse to be someplace you otherwise don't belong. It gives me both a point of connection and a point of separation for the record. And then there's an antique camera there. You can put a little photo there if you want to. And then these flip up and there is four by six photo underneath each one. All right. And then this closure piece is the same on all three of the pages. And again, that's something that's optional. You don't have to do it if you don't want to, but it gives you two extra four by six photos as well as this pocket, which has room for additional four by six photos in the form of tags. So you can add two more four by six photos to each side. So that gives you extra. And then this flips up and there's a little layout on the back for an enlargement and a square photo. And then here we have these two pockets. You can leave individual or you can join them together, make one big pocket. And there are 
these in the paper collection, little envelopes. You can put some memorabilia in here, more photos, whatever. Room for photos of any size. Just put the mats and put the photos front and back. Put memorabilia in the pocket, whatever you want. Anything goes, because it's your book and you can design it exactly how you want. And that's kind of the point of the album basics guides is for you to make a unique album. Um, and then I've made some additional tabbed photo mats to go in this pocket. And then again, we have another divided pocket up here with long tags that will hold two four by four photos on each side. So you can get another, you know, eight photos in that pocket. And then that closes up and we flip to the back and on the back I've put a big envelope with a button and string closure but kind of a large oversized stylized button here and you can fill a ton put a ton of stuff in these 10 by 10 envelopes so I've done a bunch of inserts and again um, all the videos where I made these inserts will be included with the album basics guide so they're all in there life is like a camera just focus on what is important and capture the good times develop from the negatives and if things don't work out just take another shot and then room for four by six photos inside i left the back plain but you could add another photo back there memories captured the best thing about a picture is that it never changes even when the people in it do fun and then room for four four by six photos inside. You can add another two four by six photos on the back if you wanted to. Uh, made a Polaroid here that holds eight, uh, four four by six photos. It could hold eight if you do another frame on the back, but I've just done uh, places for two four by six photos and a little bit of journaling. I've made a large uh, photo uh, mat here. It's got an enlargement for five by seven on the front. And then this paper I made out of scraps. This is the way that I use my scraps. I make these um, sort of quilted papers and that's all included with the album basics guide. You've got room for four, four by six photos inside plus room for journaling. And again, how to make all these inserts is also included with the project in the decorating videos. So if you wanna make these exact inserts this exact way, that's something that you can do and then just close it up. All right, so now we have another one of the mini pages. So this one has a, a flip here on the front. You can put two three by four photos on the back or three by four cards on the back. I've put a four by four photo underneath. You could put anything you want there, of course. And then I've made some more of those tabbed Polaroids and put them in this pocket. Of course, you could use that pocket to store memorabilia or whatever you want. And then on this one, instead of doing it fold out, I have put an envelope on the back. So this one has an envelope on the back, which holds another insert with the quilted paper. And then this sort of offset frame here for the two four by six photos and then pl plenty of plenty of places in this book to let the paper shine so one of the things that's great about this particular project is if you have a paper collection that you just don't want to cover there's so many places for inserts and photos in the styling of this that you can leave the paper just showing just so you can admire the paper later um, so whenever you're like, oh, this paper is too pretty to cover, you don't have to cover it with this one. There's a lot of space to let the paper just shine. So here's another one of those closures. Again, the closure is an add-on. You don't have to do this. But if you want to, um, it gives you room for additional photos. So flipping up and flipping down. And then it's the same tags in the pocket. I'm not going to pull them out. Yet another sort of layout for the enlargement up here and then another page style this one is stacked tabbed pages so there's lots of tabs on here so we have this sort of shallow pocket here where we've got all of our little goodies from the collection 
places just to let our three by uh, four cards shine. And to use all the cards from the collection. And then this one is just holding four by six Folaroids in this pocket. And then up here we have tabbed photo mats that are holding four photos each. So again, just eight photos in this pocket alone, six photos in this one. And of course, you know, that's just what I've done. You can do, you know, whatever you want. You can put memorabilia in here, more photos, however you want to style it. So that's full size, full size page style B. And then we have here another button and string closure on another envelope with a beautiful roomy pocket that we can put all kinds of stuff in. So we've got more inserts here. Photos remember the little things long after they've been forgotten. And I've put a little photo behind it. Room for four by six photos in these inserts so you can get a ton of photos in these books or four by four if you want to do the squares and of course room again for the four by six photos plenty of room for four by six photos i like to do four by six photos because they're easier especially if you're giving it as a gift it's very easy for the person you give it to this is the journaling basics paper um anytime you see these kind of um ledger looking papers they're the journaling basics including this yellow canary canary yellow one which is probably my favorite um i love the yellow in the journaling basics collection and it blends beautifully with the photobomb paper and um, both journaling basics and photobomb are available as digital papers so if you missed them um, the first time around you can purchase them digitally and either print them at home yourself if you have a wide format printer or if you don't you can have them printed by a professional printer in your town um, just find your local print shop and and you know put the files on a thumb drive and take them in and talk to them about what you want so here's another mini page and this one flips out so this is one of the the extended ones um, then we've got styled photo mats in the pockets this one's just plain i've done the um uh, pattern I've let the pattern rise above the pocket on the pattern paper so that um, you know it's not just cut off right there I like that's that's a little bit of fun then here we have a um, Fulleroid booklet that has plenty of room for Fulleroids and then here's another little photo booklet that's got just Fulleroids on the inside again another great way to use all the little cards in the collection and then, of course, because it extends, it um, has room for the enlargements on the inside. Then this is the last of the large pages here. So there's three of the 10 by 10s and then four of the, the smaller ones. So um, again, I've put that closure here. I just loved all the embellishments in this collection. I love... Um, collections centered around photography because regardless of what event you're you're crafting you have photos and so the photo collect collections that focus on photos are very versatile you can use them for anything and i appreciate that that's what i like about them so here we have the four by six closures again with the pocket with the tags inside and then flipping up to see that layout right there. And then here's another pocket. So what we've got here, are we have this, this pocket, this is a band, a divided band, it goes all the way down. Um, so these are long tags that go from here to here. But then I've also made this shallow pocket in front so you can tuck um, memorabilia, photo mats, whatever. In this case, I've used the folders from the collection, but which, you know, you can put anything you want in there and then you can pull these photo or not photos tags through 
and see the whole image. So it's kind of like a surprise reveal. And then this large pocket in the back, I've left big so I can put some more of those tabbed double photo mats in the back because I love to have plenty of room for photos in my books. So that's page style uh, three, C. Don't remember if I did letters or numbers. I probably did letters, page style C. And then here's the last of those big 10 by 10 envelopes that I made for the um, for the backs of these so that there's plenty of room for photos and memorabilia. This is a, a photo strip punch um, from EK Success. I used it quite a few times in this book. Looks great. And then more inserts with this fabulous paper. I'm just really, really happy with how much of this paper I was able to showcase and how many of the embellishments we were able to um, use while still having all of this room for photos. Again, you can put photos on the back instead if you wanted to. Switching up the back a little bit here, I did um, one of my uh, quilted papers on the back. And there's another one here. See, here's that canary ledger again, so beautiful. And here's the four by six photos inside. So plenty of room for photos. Again, you don't have to stuff these envelopes with all of these inserts. You don't have to make all these inserts. You can um, slim them up, slim them down, you know, decide how many spaces you need for your photos. If you have your photos from an, a particular event already, then all you have to do is kind of calculate how many photos you need and then you know how many inserts you need, how many pages you need, what style pages you need. All right, so here's the last of the mini page styles, and this is the kind that has the envelope on the back. And I've got a tab, this one's a stack stacked tabs. I have the tab here, but I also extended up this little embellishment cluster because it was just too cute. Um, and then here we put a little booklet with a string. I remember the good times. And again, more four by six photos in here. And you could do another one on the back. All Anything that has four by six photos inside, you could do four by six photos on the back too. It just depends on if you need more than 140 photos or whatever. Um, and then here, just a nice little tag with photos on the front and back. And any of these, any inserts that are in any of these pockets can be used in a variety of the other pockets. So. You can be really creative with your inserts if you want to. And then on the back, we have another of those smaller envelopes. I've done another one of those tags in there. And then we've got this beautiful piece here and another one of those offset frames just for fun. So that's it. That's the last. Oop. Is there some, there's something else in here. A uh, little four by six or a little four by four photo mat fell down to the bottom. I don't know if that was. Uh, so yeah, tons of room for photos. Like I said, there's almost 150 photos. Oh, there's over 150 photos in this book. There's 162 photos in this book. I used the Colormates Smooth and Silky cardstock that I love for my base. This is the color flag blue. And it's uh, a warm, dark blue or medium blue, medium to dark blue. Um, it's that goes really well with this collection. Uh, it really sets it off, gives it a sharp look without um, without the black because there's so much blue in this collection. I really liked it with the blue here. So that's it. That is the Split Decision album. Again, check the video description for an album basics guide if you want to know how to make one of these yourselves. Thanks so much for watching. Hope you continue to have a magical day and I'll see you next time. Bye now.